just uh, quickly uh, whipped up these uh, these forms because there was quite a lot missing out of these uh, two walls and this is not going to be a perfect job but we'll make it straight later on i just wanted to have a little bit more shape uh, to to the wall Oh, is my bum crack covered? Yeah, see this is not perfect, but that's okay. That's okay, we can work with this. Yeah, because now I... Uh, I, I just have straight sides, I can just fill this up and then uh, pull it straight when, uh, when rendering. I just have to add a little bit more cement. Yeah, some time back Nadia and I found these old louvered, partially louvered doors. They're old and crappy, but they do have character. and. We would like to integrate them in in the bathroom. At least that is the plan. Well, that's Nadia's plan. Nadia always has these big plans, but I need to uh, make it happen, right? Well, let's uh, see if we can refurb them to uh, well a better condition that they are in now without losing their character. Let's bring them inside and strip them. Yeah, but before we start working on that, uh, we I've got a little explaining to do first. Somehow I end up with orange stuff all the time, orange tape. I don't know, it's not a deliberate choice. Yeah, so after the last uh, two episodes or so, there were a number of questions from uh, subscribers. One of the main questions was, or comments really was, you got to tie in your new wall with uh, the walls on the side, which are the old walls. And I have replied, no, I'm going to uh, enforce the joints with glass fiber embedded in rendering. But I'll explain you how and why. So if we have um, the old wall, which is part of our neighbor's property. That would be the outside wall and there would be a door opening yeah this is basically what it's looking like so this is the wall that's behind this new wall which is part of the property of our neighbor right you've seen that wall then this is the wall on that side here we found that uh, fireplace last time that is a addition to the building. That wall is built like that with a door opening. And then a piece of new wall again. And this is the wall of our house. This is the big house, the interior. Okay. Now, these walls are all built out of uh, natural stone, bricks, and a lime mortar cement. Um, lime mortar. I already say cement, that's wrong. It's not a cement, it's a lime mortar. A mortar based on sand and lime and water. The wall that I have built now inside 
is this one. And I have built this wall out of concrete blocks with a modern glue built stuck together. Now, as you can see, this wall is completely wedged in. It's wedged in between these two outer walls, the floor where it's standing on, the concrete floor, and the roof. There's no way this wall can move because the concrete blocks don't have room to move to. I mean, if I would take my big, big sledgehammer and would start breaking in this wall, the wall wouldn't come falling apart. The wall would come falling apart as soon as I have completely removed a few of the concrete blocks in the middle, because then the other blocks have room to move to. This is, it's wedged in. This wall is not going to move. On top of that, all the blocks are obviously glued together. Now, for my own peace of mind, I have stuck some yeah, old styrofoam here. And I've put it in place and I've filled up some voids with expanding PU foam. So, just as a piece of mind, now, because of that styrofoam behind it, this wall could not move into that direction anymore. You know, if, if you would run into it, this wall would not really move in that direction. Now, what is going to happen with the corners of my new wall here? Now, the shower stall is going to be here. And what am I going to do? I'm going to build a tiny little wall again out of concrete blocks. And then I'm going to make a divider, a dividing wall, so that the water doesn't go everywhere. Here will be the drain of the shower. Now, what am I going to do? I am going to build this back wall and this wall out of the same concrete blocks. And I'm going to reinforce these corners and I just, let me enlarge it. I'm going to render a thick render layer on the concrete blocks as a finish and also to make it watertight, waterproof, because I'm going to render the inside of the shower cubicle with Portland cement render. A white one, but still a Portland cement render to which I will add an additive to make the cement, the render, waterproof. But in that layer, first layer of rendering, I'm going to add fiberglass cloth. And that fiberglass cloth is gonna sit here on this corner. And it's a meter wide, so that will probably be quite to scale as well. And on top of that is going to be a sitting a thick layer of render. There's probably going to be several layers of render. A scratch coat, a finish coat, and then on top of that micro cement. And here as well, fiberglass cloth and a big layer of render. This is the only part of the bathroom where I will use Portland cement render. Why? Your render should be of the same strength or softer than the wall it is rendered on, applied to. These walls are built out of natural stone, brick and lime cement. And that's, that's a very flexible construction. You see cracks coming and cracks disappearing. It's, it's, it, it behaves different, completely different than this wall here that is built out of the modern concrete blocks. And this is also why I would not use ties, hard ties, to connect the two walls together. Some people have suggested, yeah, you need to tie this wall into this wall, you know, in several points and here and here, because it makes it strong, yeah. 
it does make it strong, but not for very long because this wall is behaving completely different than this wall. Different with temperature changes, different when humidity changes. It's two different animals. So what you're going to get is you're going to get cracks. You're either going to get cracks into the lime mortar walls or you're going to get cracks in your concrete walls. So I don't want to use hard ties. I want to use soft ties. Now, this wall, the modern wall, is not connected to this wall. And it's not going to be. Because it gets its strength from the way it's built, all wedged in, the glue that has been used, this styrofoam behind it, and then also this construction for the shower cabin out of concrete blocks. That's going to be quite, quite a bit of reinforcement. Then on top of that, I am building a little, just a little 20 centimeter wall here out of concrete blocks. That will provide strength. And then you ask, well, what are you going to do on this corner? What are you going to do on this corner? Okay, I can't tie this wall, the concrete wall, to the lime mortar wall with cement. Because you can't use Portland cement on a lime wall. Doesn't work. Again, you get a very hard layer on a soft wall. It's going to behave different. It's going to be Correct. So what I'm going to do is this big layer was cement render, Portland cement render, and then somewhere here I will start using a lime render, which is also white. So the joint between, in this area, between my concrete wall and the lime wall is going to be Glass fiber reinforced again, but then with a lime render, which is softer than cement. And you're not going to see the difference between cement render and lime render because they're both going to be white, plus the finishing layers will be um, a beton ciré, uh, micro cement. So, and then just to give you a, a further explanation of how we're going to build the bathroom. Here's going to be cupboards. There's going to be the laundry machine is going to be here. Laundry on top of each other. And this is going to be uh, towels and uh, linen. Let's call it linen. This joint here, again, same thing. Glass fiber mat. And lime render. And then somewhere here, the lime render will continue in cement render. I think, not 100% sure, because it doesn't really matter whether I do this wall in cement or lime. Now, both the rendering uh, layers, uh, the, the, the rendering mortars uh, out of cement and out of lime will get an additive to make them waterproof, watertight. But obviously, this is the wet cell that needs to be really watertight. And it's going to be because even uh, you could do it with only the top layer out of this micro cement with a wax that would make the whole uh, thing watertight, waterproof. But I'm going to add this additive to the render so that I'm really sure that it's watertight. Right, that was uh, yeah a bit more of an explanation. Here's going to be another wall. That's a dividing wall uh, because the, uh, the toilet is going to be there. There's going to be another little wall. Uh, well, probably same size but not so high. Because on top of this will be the uh, the sink. Uh, do you call it sink? Vanity? Wash? I don't know. That's the sink. And then uh, this would be the entrance. So 
these walls will all be finished in lime render uh, probably this wall and this part in cement render and the joints between concrete modern day building material and the old-fashioned uh, stone wall with lime will be reinforced with fiberglass and in lime render well I, I hope this sort of explains it a little bit now and then there were a number of comments about my music choice well yeah I had some really good songs about installing rain gutters and concrete blocks very uh, appropriate right of course of course these are not real songs of course these are AI created songs right a number of you found it really funny and a number of you did not because they don't like AI and why not well because it um, it, 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 it robs the artists from work seriously is the problem not that the artist doesn't know how to use AI to his benefit if I have to pay for the rights to use popular music in my videos each vlog is gonna cost me thousands of euros without doubt so what do most vloggers do well we uh, we pay a company every month a fee and that company sells you music that's been made by people at home behind their computer or their keyboard and these people at home they upload their music on this platform and they get they get paid for it right whenever I use a song from this platform the creator will receive uh, yeah, uh, a commission out of it for it and that's that's all great because it does not cost me too much money I've got a lot of choice and people at home can make music and sell it through this platform that's what most of us vloggers do and apart from that I've started using an AI music creator because I find it just hilariously funny to have a song about installing a rain gutter isn't it or concrete blocks I find it absurdly funny that you can within minutes create a song the tech the lyrics the music everything about a subject <laughs> that that no one would ever think of making a song about, right? Yeah, I find it hilariously funny. So I will keep on using it. There was also a comment from someone who said, you're not taking yourself serious or you're not taking the channel serious anymore when you use that kind of music with stupid texts. Well, <laughs> you know, how serious am I supposed to take this channel? I don't even take, not take myself serious. What are we doing? We're we are only um, revamping a little house in France. We're not we're not building uh, rockets that go into space and launch satellites to create uh, a global uh, internet uh, for the masses. We're not we're not uh, building um, self-driving electric cars. I'm, I'm just I'm just mucking about, right? So how serious am I supposed to take this channel? You know, I take you serious, but not more serious than I take myself. And I don't take myself so serious. So, yeah, there will be some quirky, stupid songs in these vlogs. Absolutely. I'm not going to stop with that. All right. I've got to get to work now. I am going to... Uh, it's going to rain. Yeah, I'll have to work inside. I'm going to uh, work on these uh, these doors and then I'm going to show you how sort of they're going to be fitted in the bathroom and in the meantime you can listen to a very inspiring songs about the health benefits of oatmeal have fun starting off my morning feeling kind of groggy need a boost of energy i'm feeling foggy then i reach for that ball it's my golden meal oatmeal oatmeal now you know the deal Loaded with fiber Keeps my tummy happy Slow releasing carbs Keeps me feeling snappy Keep
shower cubicle uh, there will be a wall here right cupboards and then the idea is that the wall is made out of concrete blocks uh, for this this width this length all the way to the ceiling because behind it will be cupboards all the way to the ceiling and then this part here is just raised and then on top of this part it will not be concrete blocks but it will be these doors these uh, old doors now I, I don't know exactly how high it's going to be because this whole the, the, the floor of the bathroom is going to be raised plumbing pipes will have to run over this concrete uh, slab I, i'm not i'm not gonna open this all up that's just opening up pandora's box right this concrete slab was here and uh, it's it's good we're, we're gonna we're gonna raise um, the floor of the bathroom it will be about four four inches ten centimeter or so i i expect because uh, you got your plumbing pipes and then you got your insulation yada yada so um the idea this is going to be up until here is going to be a full wall why is it this thick the the wall so wide because i want to make recesses in the wall where you can put your shampoo and 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 thingies um yeah and then this part is going to be a, a little bit higher because you don't want water to run out and then on top of that lower situated wall we get a door and the idea is i think i think yeah i think we're gonna have to go with this door yeah that's gonna be about here because obviously it's louvered and oh no that should be on this side then because you want to have if water comes on here then it should run down patch him up a little bit not too much if i patch him up too much then i get into trouble with nadia nadia is the artist i'm the engineer i would like to uh, completely refurb him until they're completely new but uh, that's that's just uh, beyond beyond the point then the louvers are pointing inward and you have this nice bit of hardware Oh yeah, or I can take a big risk. And the big risk would be to cut the louvered part out and hoping that it doesn't fall apart and then turn it around. See, what makes these be doors beautiful is obviously, well, the design with that louvered insert and then yeah the color and then the hardware so and when you're in the shower stall you don't see much of them but when you are walking into the bathroom they catch your eye so that side should get most attention and i want to have those hinges sitting in that way yeah because if they would be sitting in the way where you walk through that would be uh, dangerous 
but at the same time I also want to have that uh, that lock that uh, what do you call it this thing here because that's also cool right but then those catches they should be pointing inwards otherwise it could be dangerous you could get hooked behind them so I'll have to uh, install it like this on here and then you get a real Frankenstein door because this hinge comes from the other door uh, and from the other side as well that can go on here and then I need to cut out that louvered insert because I want to have it pointed downwards on the inside of the shower cubicle and I have to grind off a hook I catch there because it's just, uh, it's just dangerous so I'm gonna really have to Frankenstein these door take parts here and there and change them but then you know it doesn't matter because it's not a museum right we're not uh, trying to uh, show people how things were we're just trying to create a, an atmosphere yeah so I'm gonna try to carefully cut out these louvered inserts hmm they'll probably come falling apart but I have to give it a try anyway yeah this is one of those jobs uh, where you have to be really careful because uh, before you know it you start creating so much work oh it is black right I'm just uh, well I've taken it apart I've cleaned it up a little bit and now I'm going to gently put it back together corking everything carefully emptied almost a full uh, tube cartridge of Sika caulking in it trying to uh, keep it hidden and where it has squirted out of the cavities I will have to uh, trim it off because obviously you don't want to see a whole lot of Sika yeah now let it uh, cure I think overnight yeah, and then uh, we take it out of the clamps tomorrow. I don't want to take any risks. And then, uh, yeah, trim. Trim all that caulking and then uh, put it in a coating. And then don't know yet what, maybe varnish, 
maybe an, like a linseed type of coating. I'm not sure what, I'm going to think about that. So that is it uh, from me uh, for this time. We will be back in probably a couple of days with the door and uh, plenty of other stuff to do. Huh? Uh, Deborah Lynn, Chris, thank you. Thank you very much. If you want to help me keeping this channel up, then uh, see the link below. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for liking. For commenting, uh, you know, I in 9 out of 10 times I will reply to your comments, so please uh, do comment and uh, see you next time. Bye now.